Have you seen this weapon before? How about this one? If not, then keep watching for the nine all time rarest weapons in Elden Ring. Some of these weapons have less than 1% chance to drop, meaning most players won't ever have even seen them. I'll show you where to get all nine of these rare weapons and how to upgrade them to get the most from their abilities. We'll start with the rarest colossal sword in the game, the Watchdog's Great Sword. It scales primarily with strength and has insane damage. With heavy infusion, it surpasses all other colossal swords in the game, barring the Great Sword. However, I personally prefer the Watchdog Great Sword due to its Ash of War, which is a nasty crouching upwards slash. An alternative Ash of War that functions similarly is the Cragblade Ash of War, which is sort of the same but has this cool purple look. This slash can actually be used to duck under enemy hits so it's useful both offensively and defensively as we see with this enemy here. While the sword does have overall less damage than the great sword and is slightly shorter, the watchdog's great sword is slightly lighter and does a tiny bit more poise damage. And for me, you know, it just looks nicer. It actually gets covered in dirt and earth the more you use it, which for me it's a nice effect, I like that. But don't worry if you want to keep it clean because the dirt comes right off if you just have a few whacks of it. To get the watchdog's great sword, head to the giant con Conquering Hero's Grave and from here go through the dungeon until you see the Watchdog. This guy is about 10 seconds from the site of Grace. Lead it into the light and kill it for the sword, making sure to kill the imps first because they're annoying. The Watchdog's Great Sword has an 8% chance to drop, so after about 10 runs or so, you should come away with the sword. Next rare weapon in Elden Ring that most people won't have is the Golem Great Bow. This bow out damages all other great bows on a quality build. According to the description, this great bow requires enormous strength just to draw, suggesting it was not designed for human use. I could have told you that. The amount of strength it does need is 24, along with 18 decks, so make sure you've got that in order to fire the Golem Great Bow. Now, I'm not an archer, I don't really like to play as an archer in Elden Ring, so I haven't really upgraded the Golem Great Bow that much, so you're not really seeing this at its full potential, but this just gives you an idea of its moveset. To get this bow for yourself, you have to grind the Archer Golems, and the easiest ones to grind are along the canyon path to the Giant Jar, which is in Caleb. So go along the canyon and kill the two Golems at the end. If it's not dropping for you, then try boosting your item discovery with the Silver Scarab Talisman. You can also wear the Silver Tear Mask and use a Silver Pickled Foulfoot to to boost your discovery. Use these three items whenever you're farming and your chances of getting the item you want raise considerably. And one more thing, if you do want more arrows, I get mine from the Hermit Merchant in Altus Plateau. He sells all types of arrows, so visit him and get your arrows. Okay guys, this is the joint rarest weapon in the whole game. I was gonna save this one to the end of the video, but who cares, we're not doing this in order. It's the Noble's Slender Sword and it has a 0.5% drop rate, which is the lowest of any Elden Ring weapon jointly. On average, you'd have to do a farming run 200 times just to get this weapon to drop once. Now, I'm not going to lie, this isn't the most powerful sword in the game, but it's definitely a great little collector's item and really fun to play around with. It's the longest sword of its type in the game and has an Ash of War that lets you break through enemy guards and close the distance quickly. To get the Noble Slender Sword, first head to the Waypoint Ruins Site of Grace. From here, leave the cellar and follow this route to the nearby troll caravan. Kill the mob here over and over until one of them drops the sword. The specific enemy type that drops the sword is this one, but hey, you might as well kill everything. Everyone's pretty low level around here. I've put hundreds of hours into Elden Ring and killed so many nobles without seeing the noble slender sword drop once, so your best bet to get this sword is going after this caravan with laser-like focus. Just keep doing it and you will get lucky. It dropped for me after about 50 attempts, but I'm one of the lucky ones. Some people still have not even seen it. Keep going, guys. Keep going. On to the Magma Blade now, and the Ash of War on this one is ridiculous. Look at that. Holding L2 unleashes a fountain of pure magma that burns enemies and stuns them so they can't attack. According to the description, the Magma Blade is a curved sword with a blade fashioned from the lava of Mount Gelmir, an armament of the man serpents impossible for a human to have made. With a 
tiny 1% drop rating, your chances of getting this weapon are slim, but here's how you can get it right now. First, head to the Temple of Igle, Site of Grace, then head in the elevator. Kill the annoying enemy on your left, and then head right and kill the first snake dude. If this one doesn't drop the magma blade, follow this route and kill the second snake dude at the end of the corridor. Repeat this short farming run until you've got the blade. If you want to increase your chances of it dropping, again as with all farming runs, I recommend using these three items. The silver scar of talisman, silver tear mask, and silver pickled falfoot. For me, it dropped after about three hours, uh, yes, three hours of constant and farming, but other players have reported even longer, so days and days of grinding just to get this magma blade. But it's not a myth, I'm not even kidding, I haven't modded this into my game, this is a real weapon, I'm not just trying to play a trick on you, trust me. One final tip, you can actually boost your fire damage of the magma blade by 32%. To do this, use the fire scorpion charm talisman and slot a flame shrouding crack tear into your physic flask. Remember that the Ash of War scales off faith, so the higher your faith the more damage you'll do with the ash of war attack all right guys if you want the best whip in the whole game this is the one you need it outperforms every single other whip so you can kill your enemies in spectacular fashion i'm not a whip guy so again you're not really seeing this at its full upgraded potential but trust me this is the best whip statistically in elden ring and you can only find it in one specific place to get your hands on the thorned whip head to the giant's mountaintop catacomb site of grace which is in the mountaintop of the giant's region now go up to the fire prelate who's in front of the long narrow bridge and kill it. The fire prelate has a 4% chance of dropping the whip and it's really annoying too because there are these fire spewing monks all around it. A summon will help here so I do recommend you doing a summon and that will distract their focus. Just keep killing the prelate until you get the thorned whip. It's a great weapon for interrupting enemy attacks, has the joint highest dex rating in the game which you can get up to a B rating at the blacksmith and let's face it just looks cool as hell. It's so spiky. In terms of comparisons with other whips, the next best whip is Hoslow's Petal Whip, but while Hoslow's Petal Whip has higher innate bleed, the Thorned Whip has higher dex scaling with B as opposed to Hoslow's C, so the Thorned Whip slightly edges it. This is the Golem Halbeard, and it's got the highest strength requirement of any rare weapon in the game at 36. If you primarily level up strength, this weapon is a beast. It's got incredible range whether you're using the R2 attack or sprinting then attacking, but what I like to do is use the Raptor's Black Feathers armor to raise my jump attacks. Then you can jump all over the place with this heavy ass halberd. As per the description, this is a great halberd of black stone crafted by a civilization now gone to ruin. Now the reason this weapon is so rare is because it only spawns in one location. This is Limgrave Tower Bridge. What you have to do is run across the bridge and kill the two golems you see here. There's a 10% chance one of them drops a halberd. Beard. What makes this farming run more difficult is the third golem at the end of the bridge shooting great arrows at you the whole time. Golems are pretty tough in the early game so I recommend waiting until you're leveled up a bit and that'll make this farm a bit quicker. Okay we're on to the Noble's S-Stock which is joined top with the Noble's Slender Sword as the rarest weapon in Elden Ring which definitely makes it worth having simply because the majority of people don't even know about it. You can use its default frosting attack, Ash of War or if you're going for style slap the sacred blade ash of war on it and fling out projectile attacks. Now let's be honest, the vanilla S-Stock has better damage, longer range and is easier to get than the nobles S-Stock, but the nobles S-Stock is rarer and that's the point of this entire video. The best place to farm this is at the Mistwood outskirts Grace site. Just to the north, a short runaway are three nobles. One of them has the S-Stock, so kill this little mob over and over until they drop the sword. You're gonna be there a while, so prepare for a grind but come on having a sword that has only has a 0.5% drop rate is pretty fun it's pretty good to have
The Rib Rake has to be one of the creepiest weapons in the whole game. And this is a game featuring weapons in the form of giant purple fingers and poisoned ant stingers. But it is decent as well with a spinning attack you can use to take out multiple foes, a long range thrust attack to close the distance, and an Ash of War that lets you stun enemies so you can break their attack animation. According to the description, the Rib Rake is a ceremonial tool used by dancers during the festivities of Dominula, which is why you'll find it in Windmill Village, dropped by the creepy dancing nuns. To get the Rib Rake for yourself, head to the Windmill Village site of Grace and kill the nuns, wielding the Rib Rake. Any nun with a Rib Rake, strike them down, and you'll have a very small chance of getting it. And I mean very small. It's pretty hard to target the one specifically wielding the Rib, rib Rake, so you might as well go after everyone because you kill one of these nuns and it will aggro literally everyone in the area. So yeah, just murder everyone. If you want to try something fun with this weapon, Weapon, I recommend the poison build. Put the poison mist ash of war on it and wear the rot exaltation talisman and you'll poison most enemies in about two to four hits. And if you decide to rock a great shield as well, you'll turn what was ordinarily a creepy pokey weapon into a veritable wall of poison. And lastly, this is the ultra rare clean rot spear. And it's the only weapon in Elden Ring with this move. This move is called sacred phalanx and it's a holy attack attack can kill multiple enemies at once and is one of the coolest looking skills in the entire game. To get your hands on the clean rot spear, head to the heart of Anonia, site of grace, and farm this enemy. This is a clean rot knight. He starts face down in the poison, so wait till he comes up and land your hits on him before he has a chance to answer back. The drop rate is super low on the clean rot spear, but thankfully the site of grace is not too far away, so you can keep spawning back there and repeating the run. Stay on your horse so you don't get poisoned by the swamp and keep around the back of the clean rot knight because otherwise he'll block your attack. Once you've got your clean rot spear you can use its sacred phalanx skill to obliterate enemies or you could try and farm a second spear and dual will them. Make sure to give this weapon a go with a small shield in your other hand as well because with the small shield you can attack and defend at the same time. And those were the nine rarest weapons in all of Elden Ring. Do let me know in the comments if there are other rare weapons I haven't mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed this video though, remember to click the like button. I would massively appreciate that. And for more Elden Ring videos, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.